Welcome to another version of Will It Measure? Today we want to talk about accuracy and understanding the repeatable accuracy of the microscribe. This is a microscribe MX 5 degrees of freedom device. We're going to be using a known artifact, a ball bar that's 24 inches long and has five divot spots along the ball bar. So we're going to measure each divot and compare that measurement to the nominal. We'll be utilizing the Moby Gauge software to record these measurements and analyze them against the nominal. We've already created a run plan here in Moby Gauge where we're going to measure the five points and then Moby Gauge will look at the distance from point one to two, one to three, one to four, and one to five. So let's go ahead and get started. We'll come up here to file and we'll clear all of our measurements and then we'll say measure all. So we'll bring the microscribe into position of the first known point. Utilizing a hand switch to collect the data, we'll take a point. We'll move on to the second. Move on to the third. Fourth. And finally, the fifth point. So now let's take a look at a report so that we can understand the data that we collected. We'll come in here to report, and we can see the distance from one to two, or the first point to the second point, was 5.9983, or it had a deviation from the nominal of six tenths of an inch. The second point is a deviation of three tenths. The third point is a deviation of four tenths. And then the fifth point had a deviation of eight tenths. So this helps us understand better the repeatable accuracy of the microscribe along a known ball bar. Okay, now that we've taken a look at the ball bar example, let's use another known artifact that most shops have laying around, uh, and that's a one, two, three block. Uh, we know that a one, two, three block is ground within pretty tight tolerances, and we should see a measurement of three inches from plane to plane. So I've uh, already written a small plan to measure the two planes and then just get a distance between them. So let's go ahead and uh, clear any measured data, and let's measure it. So we'll come in and take four points on the plane. Now Moby Gauge is aware of the diameter of the ball, so it's going to compensate for that diameter and should give us a true measurement. All right, let's take a look at the report now. We'll take a look at the report. And we can see that the value that we measured, it, it's a little shy. It's four tenths shy of three inches, but it's uh, two, thousand, or two inches, nine, 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 six. So it, it's well within the specification of the machine, and uh, you can get an idea of the accuracy of the microscribe. So this completes this video uh, on accuracy and the microscribe systems. So hopefully, you can see that the microscribe is a very accurate device and is a great device for doing uh, inspection and reverse engineering. For more information about the microscribe, you can visit us at our website, www.gomeasure3d.com, or feel free to give us a call at 434-946-9125. Thank you.